speaking frankly, like I think uh, had I been able to successfully make the jump from there into a private equity, you know, a senior associate type of role or like uh, at a really reputable VC, like I would have, I would have probably ended up there. I interviewed uh, constantly for two years and, you know, made some headway, but uh, ultimately wasn't able to really that's, pull off that. That's almost that impossible. Jump. That's almost impossible. If you don't yeah. have the, if you don't have the principal investing experience prior to your MBA, trying to get one for a post MBA seat, which is super narrow, like all the kids who already had private equity roles before MBA are like a lot of them don't get into the post MBA seats. Like, cause there's just less. Yeah. If you're going to the buy side from an MBA is like, it's not super easy. I've seen with, it. I've have, seen it, yeah, but I'm yeah. like, it's super rare. I probably there's, this is like podcast 130 something. And <laughs> I've spoken, I think to two, maybe three who broke in post MBA to like a PE fund. <laughs> 